everyone thinks I'm a chef. So what I do is actually very different from what a chef does. Um, I'm actually more focused on pasta fabrication. Uh, and then um, ob obviously the cooking of the pasta would be uh, usually undertaken by uh, a professional who's, um, who executes the dish in the kitchen. My name is Yamhua. I'm the founder of Ben Fato. I'm currently running uh, private sessions uh, out of my own home and I also do small-scale production for pasta. I just kind of fell into it. Uh, it, was, it was an accident. I was always interested in Italian cuisine in general. Most restaurants never really paid attention to the craft or the techniques and processes in making you know, different shapes. Uh, pasta comes in many forms. Spaghetti is just one, tagatelli is just one of you know, hundreds. So that really got me interested. Like why can't food people be interested in pasta beyond spaghetti and tagatelli for example. Before pasta making, uh, I was a line cook uh, working at Artichoke. It's a progressive Middle Eastern restaurant in Singapore. So when this whole craft got a little bit more serious, uh, I actually went to uh, Toronto in Canada. Uh, I spent about a month there um, working for two restaurants. Uh, then I also, um, of course, went to uh, Italy. Uh, north, south, um, also in Sardinia, uh, where I uh, attended a couple of um, classes there and um, a school in Bologna where I learned the art of egg pasta. Uh, then after that, I also went to Japan uh, where I met uh, Claudia. She's Sardinian uh, and I uh, was very interested uh, in seeing and learning what she's really doing. Uh, so I actually flew to Japan to pick up, you know, not just the art of, of Sufilindeo, but also other forms of uh, Sardinian pasta. Sufilindeo is a um, very ancient pasta format uh, that originates from Nuoro in Sardinia. Uh, it's uh, basically a pasta that looks like uh, fabric because it's made up of three distinctive layers uh, of uh, thread-thin pasta filaments. Uh, this is a format that's made entirely by hand and uh, it's uh, actually a format that's very hard to replicate by a lot of people. So actually in the world there are maybe between 4 to 12 ladies uh, that actually know how to make this particular pasta format. Uh, and uh, one of them is uh, Claudia which resides in Tokyo. Bed fato means uh, well made or well done. So, um, you know, for me, it, it means a lot when uh, somebody comes around and um, they say well done when, when they have uh, my plate of pasta. What kind of pasta is Everything. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Can I say that? Specialties. Uh. Okay. I particularly like uh, egg pasta in general uh, because it's something that's, that can be very um, comforting. So the three uh, uncommon pastas that I do on a daily basis uh, are lorikitas, uh, trophie and orecchiette. Uh, lorikitas are kind of like a braided pasta. So it's braided one at a time. Uh, it looks like uh, they're all like ring-shaped pasta, but just kind of braided with your hands. Uh, trophie is 100% uh, handmade. Uh, it's formed by manipulating a small dough underneath your palm into a spiral format. Orecchiette uh, is a pasta that's also made by hand, but it also requires a knife to uh, form the shape, the eventual shape. Pasta makers are very rare in Singapore because it's a very time consuming and um, can be a very technically challenging process. Uh, so in Singapore, I think the the crowd generally actually appreciates the, the overall dish um, over you know the craft of pasta. The craft of pasta is actually lost you know in the eyes of um, the eventual consumer. The most important life skill I've learned from my three years of pasta making is perseverance. Uh, the shapes that I've uh, encountered, they can be very technically challenging. Um, for example, orecchiette took me a uh, you know, a couple of weeks to kind of master it. So perseverance is something that you will need to have uh, if you want to take on pasta making uh, as a profession.